Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope your day is going well. Um, and the start of your work week isn't too chaotic. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, um, beautiful sky still, beautiful weather, not too bad. Um, but of course, starting tomorrow, things are going to change and weather is, um, our next storm system basically is going to be starting to move in. So, yeah. So, um, before we get rolling with our newest topic that I'm very excited about, um, I wanted to, uh, let you all know, I, I came across a, uh, an article this morning about, um, how to use your energy. Okay, um, it's over on the Facebook um, account. I copied and pasted the link over there. I thought that would be a really good spot uh, to put that. Uh, basically, it's a lot of what I've been talking about with um, keep a track of where your energy is going and so forth. Only in the article, they broke it down into two categories, things that you're passionate about, things that uh, you're not, not so passionate about and so forth. Whereas like with my calendar systems, I broke it up into uh, six different categories, you know, with your home, your work, um, your, your um, mental state, so on and so forth. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, if you want to hop on over to the Facebook page and uh, take a look at that article, maybe it might make a little bit more sense for you all, okay? So anyway, the big topic, tarot. Ooh, scary, I know. For some people, uh, it can be um, a little unnerving. So, but for those who are curious, stick around. So today I thought it would be a good idea to just talk, go into the background of the tarot a little bit. I know everybody's just going, ah, I got to do ran out and bought my tarot deck and I want to do a reading and, and get help with it and so forth. Well, it's just as important to also know and understand the background of tarot, how it originated and so forth. So. Let's go ahead and dive into that. So basically, the earliest known deck that uh, we know of that was uh, created was back in the 1400s, like mid-1400s, something like that. And it was created for the Duke of Milan in Italy for his family. And it was a card deck that was based... Um, um, off of a bridge-like game called Tarochi. And the um, characters, I'm like, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. <laughs> the characters were based off of uh, typical characters that you would see in uh, sh street parades and so forth, okay? So like the uh, character of death and so on and so forth, you would typically see them in, you know, like street, the street fairs and, 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 and the festivities and so forth. OK, as the game uh, became more popular and spread across Europe over the next couple of centuries, <laughs> it wound up over in France and that's where it, it took on more of the mystical uh, aspects. OK, and as it and that's also where the name was changed to tarot a um, couple centuries later something like that anyway um, it's what there was an author I can't remember his name who had um, hypothesized basically or theorized that it, the, it possibly went all the way back to Egypt so we really don't know exactly where tarot came from we just know that the earliest known deck <laughs> came from uh, basically Italy, okay? And um, the appearance and how, how, it, um, how it progressed it, uh, has changed over the centuries also, okay? The current decks that you see now are actually, there's there's two different mainstream decks that are used. There's a, oh, let me back up here a minute. There's actually a lot of different decks out there. But the two that all the decks are basically based off of <laughs> are either the Rider Waite, 
or the Book of Thoth. I don't know um, really much of anything about the Book of Thoth, so I'm not really going to be um, uh, uh, jumping onto that topic all that much until I have an opportunity to do some research anyway. But, but basically, the decks that I use are the ones that are based off of the Rider Waite. And that, that, that deck was first created um, back in the early 1900s by pa um, Pamela Ryder, and I don't know his first name, I just know his initials, A.E. Waite. And she was a, a, a um, someone who has really um, had a strong background in artistic um, uh, theater set design. So when Mr. Waite approached her, that's kind of where her background was coming from with designing the cards, okay? Interestingly, seeing how it is a bridge-like game, <laughs> um, the, the tarot that we know of today is actually loosely based on our current deck of playing cards. Ah, didn't know that, did you? So you can actually use current deck of playing cards to do tarot readings if you want to. And once you start learning how to do that and everything, it's kind of interesting. You go to the blackjack tables instead of seeing, trying to get 21. Oops, I'm seeing tarot readings. <laughs> Thought I'd throw that little bit, tidbit of information for you. The big difference is, is that the, uh, obviously the deck of playing cards doesn't have the major or minor arcana. Basically the deck, the uh, playing cards are based off of uh, um, the minor arcana. And as far as the court cards are concerned, they don't have the pages. And of course, the knights are jacks. So, <laughs> interesting information. I know, very fascinating. So, I thought tomorrow what I would do is actually break out some decks and start going into a little bit more of the nitty-gritty of, of tarot. So in that way, you can see what a traditional deck looks like, what is current today and so forth, and uh, also show you some alternatives on how authors are basing their decks off of the um, Rider Waite, okay? So, I hope y'all have a great day. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Love you.